Cube was really very, very interesting for us. Uh, it's the only VR project with, you know, that was in the competition, so that sort of set it apart slightly. The VR space in which you operate was beautiful, it was calming, it was fun, and, and really kind of set, set a very high standard. It's a room scale VR experience that you're able to sort of manipulate, mutate, splice, splice plants together and kind of start to understand the properties of them. We work really closely with uh, Helen Curry, who's uh, welcome introduced us to. She's a historian on seed banks. It really helped inform um, the actual underlying narrative and actually really give us a sort of concrete uh, a structure that underpinned how we wanted the, the game's narrative to progress and actually give it some substance rather than it just being a sort of simple sandbox. I was slightly concerned that as the teams were working with scientists, the scientists may be constantly trying to pull the, the game's developers to the point where things are so scientifically accurate that they lose this, the fun aspect and the playability of the game. But they've done a really good job at balancing that. It's quite rare for us to actually be able to work on our own IP or we're given the opportunity and the time and the space to do that. We came into the competition with what we felt was a very strong idea but something that was, you know, we'd had in our minds for quite a while. Um, to actually take it now through to something that we can actually put into, you know, pretty much full-time development for the next six months. It's a unique and exciting kind of chance. The idea of using plants and seeds to show transformation, but also a number of socio-political ideas uh, is wonderful. And incorporate into that the VR technology, which um, is incredible.